Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, lesson nine, it's a very, very powerful lesson. I'm going to teach you what really happens at support if we have a BOS. BOS Eve is break of structure. How do you trade when support breaks? That is a very, very important topic in your life. So grab a notebook, let's continue learning. And uh, I hope you have joined from lesson one. If you have not yet learned from lesson one, you're missing out. After this video, kindly go all the way to lesson one and then up to lesson eight, there are so, so many information. So in lesson seven, I told you on how we trade if resistance is broken. So I gave you a scenario if the market is going on an uptrend, breaking all those resistance and find a very big resistance, how do you trade whenever a major resistance zone is broken? So how do you trade? This was lesson seven. So if you have not even watched lesson two, lesson four, lesson eight, kindly you're missing out. So in this lesson nine, we are going to discuss about what really happens if support is broken. So in lesson seven, I was discussing what really happens when a resistance is broken. How do you trade this market? And I gave you one way. So go grab that video and watch it. Today, let's focus on the, on the support. Guys, the support is broken. So if you ever mark your chart and support breaks like this, what is the next thing that you need to do? What is that next thing that you need to do? And you see, in my mentorship program where I charge $400, I already have so many strategies. In fact, I teach six strategies. The first strategy I teach is WBB that even here on YouTube I've taught. And then I, I teach CRB, CSB, I teach BWA, I teach ADS and RBS. So what I've done, three strategies are in public. WBB, CRB, uh, CSB, and CRB are in public. And I also teach in details in my course. But the three other strategies, BWA, RBS, and ADS, are not in public, are only in my mentorship program. So if you want those strategies, you can either subscribe to my course or you can be learning here. Other three strategies still will make you money. So at the end of the day, you will still become profitable if you master CRB, CSB, and WBB that I'm willing to give you. And here are good, good information. So what really happens at support? What really, what do you think you're supposed to do when support breaks? So you have a, a, your support area like that, and then the market is coming down, breaking those small, small support, and then they find a major support zone and the market breaks. Notice the market has been breaking these supports. These are small support that the market does not find it hard to break. But let's say the one that has been broken, it is like a, either a daily support or a weekly support. It is a very, very major support. So what really happens when the support that everyone was looking for, the institution, the big people, the retail trader, like everyone who was looking for, like what will really happen when this support is broken? That's the question I'm giving you. I'm not talking about five minute support. I'm not talking about two hour support. I'm talking of a major, major support that you can chart, that you can mark on your higher time frame. The question is, what really do you do when such a thing is happening? So I told you, first of all, you need to know what really happens at support. Two things can happen at a support. So number one, at support, so at support, you can have a fake out. A fake out is a market that tells you that, oh, sellers are, con are in control. So we can have a fake out or we can have a what? A continuation. So don't be fooled because of this big candle and you think, oh, the next candle will be red. It can just be a fake out. A fake out is when a false move come down, pretending, oh, the market is a sell, and then all of a sudden the market reverses on us. So you need to understand at support, even if it breaks, the market can be a fake out 
or continuation. So today we are not going to talk about continuation of the market. I just want to show you how do you spot a fake out because spotting a continuation is very easy, very, very easy. And if a fake out does not, if one of what I'm trying to teach you does not happen, of course, a continuation has happened. So we will focus on how do you notice or how do you figure out that this is a fake out. If a market breaks like this, how will I tell that this market has given me a fake out? How will I tell that this market has given me a fake out? Number one thing, and that's what I discussed on lesson seven, you can either go down. So here we are going down on lower time frame. That's what we did with our resistance. So you can either go down on lower time frame lower time frame. So what are you doing on the lower time frame to check if you have a, a double, a double bottom? So you're going to check on lower time frame, do I have a double bottom that can make the market go up? And that's what will give even more reason for this market to be a fake out. So you, it's either you go to lower time frame to check if you have a double bottom or you go on a higher time frame still to check the same thing. So don't be the, don't be only interested on the lower time frame. So I'm just coming to introduce another thing. Remember when we were discussing on fake out on, on resistance, I talked of going to lower time frame. But now I'm telling you, even higher time frame can give you the pattern. So we are going to do the two higher time frame. So higher time frame. So if I want to know that this is a fake out, the fake out only activates, if it is a fake out, if the market breaks at support, and I want to notice that there was a false move, that false move either affects a double bottom and activate a double bottom on a lower time frame or activate a double bottom on a higher time frame. So I know there are people who are not yet understanding what I mean, but what I'm trying to say is that imagine you have a move like this. Let me make it clear. The market was selling and then that was the last market and then the market starts to come up and the market starts to come up and the market starts to come up. Then all of a sudden we have a downtrend. You can see the market is going on a downtrend. So by the time this market is going on a downtrend, the market comes and breaks this major support that you can see. Can you see? So the market comes and break what you can see. And the question now I'm telling you, well, how do you trade? How do you trade now from there? Do you continue trading a sell or how do you trade? This is the question. If the market breaks a very major support area, do you trade down? Do you continue to trade down or do you continue, do you trade up? And you see, the reason why many people can't even trade up because it's not logical to trade up when the market has broken support. And that's why many people are trapped because they don't know that a break like this can mean a fake out. Fake out is just a false move. It can just give you an idea that the market is continuing to sell, but it is a false move. So because many people don't know and you have not been taught or you don't know about that, you will automatically lie on the continuation, which is 50% accurate. Because this is a 50-50 chance. The market can go down or it can go up. So when you have a 50-50 chance in the market, you have only, you, your chances of winning are 50. Now I want to make your chances of winning like 90 or 95. So anytime you see a support breaking like this, the first thing that should come in your mind, wait a minute, this one can be a false move. And a false move means it can reverse on me. That is how you think as a professional trader. The next thought you will think it can be continuation. So let's first remove the idea of this one being a fake out. And the only way you can remove a fake out is going to lower time frame and finding out Let's say, for instance, on lower time frame, let's say on lower time frame here, you have, you have like that. On lower time frame, you can spot a, 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 a very, not 
strong, but just a support. Where this red candle has activated this one, which you cannot see on the daily time frame. Even if you look at it on the daily, you can't see it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That there are some things if you even if you stay on one time frame, you can never see them. So this candle that you're seeing on one time frame, when you lower down, you will find it has activated a double bottom. Or if you don't lower down, you go higher time frame, you will find it has activated a double bottom. So that's what I'm saying. The idea of if the market breaks, it activates a double bottom. That's what I want to sell to you now. I want to just give you a new idea that if a support breaks, it can first activate a double bottom on lower time frame or an up on a higher time frame. So I hope we, are, we agree. So the question is, guys, if now you are trading, this is your trade with what we have discussed, how would you now trade this? If today you find that this is daily time frame and my market surely has a VOS, it has broke structure, how would you trade? Would you sell? Would you come and place a sell trade with what I have told you? No, you can't sell, you can't buy. So the first thing that you need to ask yourself, I'll go to lower time frame to check if I have a double bottom activated. If you see on the lower time frame, you can't see anything because this is the last move. Can you see? This is the last move. So there's nothing to see on the lower time frame. In fact, if you try to go on four hour, if you try to go on four hour, so let's just go back because four hour can't, um, it can't, it can't operate. So let's go. If you try to go on four hour, there's nothing here to check. But now, because this video is about going on a higher time frame. So if you try to go on a higher time frame, what will happen? So that's the thing. The question I'm asking you, if you try to trade like this, you can imagine, I want to show you, if you think, if, um, if you are told if something breaks, you're supposed now to continue selling and you come and sell, I want to show you what happens mostly. If you come and place your short position because all sellers are in control and you say, I want to sell, I want to show you the shock of your life. So you are trying to sell because you think the market will sell. See what that market did. Why do you think the market just went up? The question is, what really made this market to reverse? Why would we not have gathered this opportunity? Why? And the question, the other question you should ask yourself, why would the market break, very good break, and then the market still go up? Would we call this a retracement or a reversal? And the question here I'm trying to ask you is that not every time the market breaks a support means that sellers are in control. It can just mean that it is a fake out. And when you have a fake out in the market, it means that the market just activated the big banks uh, trades and pending orders and they are the ones that are pushing the market. So now you know that if the market breaks what you need to do, it's either you go on a lower time frame or it's either you go on a higher time frame. So you have to check which day did this market break. The market broke on Thursday. Very important. Because if we are going to weekly time frame, we need to, to understand the weekly candle when it closes. The weekly candle closes after five days. So we will wait for one more day. And that is Friday. So here, yes, the candle that closed that broke our resist, our support was on a Thursday. Just be patient. And then the next candle is on Friday so that you can be able to flip to our weekly time frame. So if I come here and I flip on my weekly time frame, what do I see? I see a double bottom. So in short, what I'm trying to tell you or to, to guide you is that on weekly, we have a double bottom. Can you see how, how Forex, they like twisting? Have you ever known that on weekly, you can have a possible double bottom because that's what we have. So that is after a weekly candle has closed. So we have a possible double bottom on weekly. I will write it for you. 
possible double bottom. So on weekly, we have a possible double bottom, but guess what? When we go on the daily, we do not have the double bottom. Why? Because this double bottom has been violated. You can see the double bottom has been violated. So if you have never known the power of time frame, looking different time frame, you will know that this market can never go up. Why? Because according to daily, sellers are in control. But according to weekly, we have a pattern. So did you know, comment down below, did you know that a market can break on the daily support? And you can see clearly it can break on the daily, but fails to break on, on weekly. And when it fails to break on weekly, the same zone that you're seeing on daily it has broken, on weekly, it is a double bottom. So you, you can be on the daily stack saying, oh, we, but the support was broken. The question is, have you flipped on the weekly and see the same support you're saying it has broken, weekly it didn't. And this is the power of analyzing multiple time frame. So this is our double bottom and this is our neckline. You see, that's our neckline. And then we have our half. So imagine now you have a very strong pattern. Me, I don't know why people say patterns don't work, but I think it's just that it's a mentality, ignorance, or I, I, I don't know why, because if I have a very strong pattern like this, the only thing I'll be waiting is for the market to engulf or for me to enter up to half or to break half so that I can enter to the neckline. So let's see what happens Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So the market and gas gives you an opportunity. Gives you an opportunity. Why? We are using WBB. Imagine even when you're using WBB, the market gives you an opportunity to enter this trade. You are told now it is right for you to enter. Notice when, when weekly they are telling you to buy, still when you flip on the daily, you do not have a reason to buy. Why? Because you're even confused you know, oh, the market broke here. Now this is an area of interest. You will be seeing this is a very strong resistance and you will be thinking the market may not reach here and you are being given all the reason why not to buy, but to sell. So imagine weekly it's telling you buy, daily is telling you sell. And that's what makes people think Forex is hard because just an under, a misunderstanding of time frame can make you be losing money every day. So daily is telling you to sell, but weekly it has a pattern, pattern that has confirmed with WBB and you're still figuring out what is really happening. So everyone, every trader who was stuck on the daily, they didn't see the reason to buy. In fact, the reason to sell was so loud. Even if, even if I was the one checking on the daily and I had not flipped on, on weekly, how would I know that the market is buying? You can never know unless you go to weekly and see on weekly we have a pattern and it's a double bottom. Now I want to show you. Imagine you may be, you have been stuck with your trading and it's just an information that is withdrawn from your mind. Maybe the reason why you have stuck, maybe the reason why you have stayed for so many, many years without becoming profitable is just some light that you don't have in your trading. A simple light like just knowing that one pattern can be found in one time frame and lack in another one. This double bottom is not on the daily, but it is very visible on the weekly. So on the weekly, I'm confident of my buy. And guys, let me show you. This buy is not one pip. This buy is 233 pips. Imagine being given a chance to buy 300, 233 pips. We are talking of 234 pips. You are being told you can buy. It is, it is okay. Buy. I have given you that chance. And you see, the weekly traders, they have that confidence. But all those who are trading on the daily time frame, they are trading a sell. Let's see how that market played out on the first week after the buy was given. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. By Thursday, the take profit has been hit. But if you go to daily, there was disappointment because by the time the market gives you a sell, three days the market buy, and you don't know why are these, 
And you're thinking, if you're on a daily time frame, the reason why I'm coming back on the daily, you're thinking, why is this market buying? I thought it is a sell. Why is it buying for three days? What you don't know is that on the weekly time frame, they are following a very strong pattern. And that pattern is a double bottom. So for them, they are following a pattern. They don't care if you don't know. And the TP was hit. So you have made 233 pips just for knowing that if a fake out happens, if a support is broken, I can either go lower on four hour or can I go higher on weekly? So I can either go lower on time frame or higher on time frame just to look for a pattern. Now, the double bottom says, if the market breaks half, it goes to TP2, which is neckline. And you're just holding it down. So you check, you wait and see. Let's see if the market will ever break half. So the market comes and let's see if the half is broken. Has it broken half? Of course it has. And you see, now the same pattern is telling you it is okay again to buy. This is what I tell people. Forex has free money. It's okay to buy now 516 pips. And you tell people, Euro Audi is a buy. But when people are going to do their own analysis on the daily, they think you're crazy. They are telling you, how can you say this market is buying when my daily has a possible double bottom? Everyone will be stuck on this double bottom. They don't understand that you, you are checking on a higher time frame. And you see now, you will be struggling to wait for WBB on this double top. Oh, I'm waiting on WBB. Maybe whenever you wait for the pattern to, uh, to give you the signal, maybe on a higher time frame, already signal was given a long time ago. You can imagine how now, imagine waiting for this double top to get activated. Even you have put, let me put a box. I'm waiting for WBB. I will be patient. This double top has to work because you're blinded by this cell. Not knowing this was a fake out. On higher time frame, it is not there. It is not even considered. Market will never come back in this area. But they left this for your mentality. They only left this for you to be able to understand uh, and to be able to be locked. You cannot think any clearly. So daily, weekly have told you buy. Why? Because they have broke. They have broke what? Our half. So I want to show you how easy Forex is whenever you know what to do. You see, when a, a support will be breaking from now henceforth, you would be thinking, oh, it is a sell. You'll be thinking, what if it is a fake out that? And when you think like that, always remember me. Don't forget about me. So I know there's an idea I have put in your mind. So 513 pips. Let's see how the market played out. So the first week, let's see what happened. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So for a whole week, nothing happens. Don't worry. If you enter with weekly analysis, you can have patience. So the first week, nothing happens. And you're thinking, oh, maybe the analysis were wrong. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. After that, this week was the week of those people who are not patient. And that's why many people come out. Your analysis are good, but you are failing to have patience. Imagine after one week, the next week, you had already made 522 pips. Even if, and if you decide to close that trade and the TP was hit, the TP was hit, guys. And you see, if at all I go back on the daily, people will be still wondering, what is really happening? And they will still think, now this double top will be used. Now people are still in denial of this market because if they look on the daily, there is this break. This candle broke for your mental. It broke just to ever lie to you that the market will always come down. But if you stuck on the pattern, you see the reason why I love patterns, it has steps. So if I say, if this market will ever break the neckline, I know how the market will go. It will go that distance. So you are waiting on the neckline to be broken. And you say, I already know if neckline breaks, what next? And your neckline breaks. Imagine having an idea 
that I don't care how long it will take. But what I know is that if a double bottom breaks neckline, it goes to complete that pattern. And I want to show you, by the time this analysis, you are saying it will go that way. Let's see what happened. Did the market go as you said? So we can see the market is staying on one zone. You see, when a double bottom confirms, it will do exactly what it says and it completed. The question is, if you had the truth of this double bottom, you would have never sold on Euro Audi. But how many people sold at this ranging? So many. So many people lost money. But if you check on the weekly, a clear pattern. But if you check on the daily frustration, you can't tell why did the market go against me? Why did we have a breakout and the market went up and it has never come back? So the question here today you need to understand, to ask yourself, when support breaks, what should I do? And I have taught you today, lesson nine, never forget that if a support breaks, it can do two things. It can either continue selling or activate a double bottom or either lower time frame or up a higher time frame. So if you have a support breaking on four hour, it can either be activating a double bottom on lower time frame, let me two hours, one hour, or it can be activating a double bottom on the daily. If a daily breaks, it can be activating weekly. If weekly breaks, it can be activating monthly or daily. That's how we do it. So I hope this was a very helpful lesson. It is a long video, but if you listen it carefully, you'll never, you will never, you will never regret listening to this video. So anytime you see support breaking, anytime you see support breaking, resistance breaking, you know what to do. I have given you power in your hands. It's you to decide what to do with it. Thank you so much, guys. Love you so much. All the best.